Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Fuji Film uh, press conference here at Drupa. Uh, we're re- very grateful that you've uh, um, given us 30 minutes of your time today. We know it's a very busy schedule for you all today, so uh, really, really appreciate that uh, you're able to join us. And uh, we will have some new announcements, so hopefully it's not a, a wasted trip. So um, just to introduce myself, uh, my name is Graham Leeson. Uh, I'm responsible for communications and sales enablement in the European business in, uh, in graphics. Um, this is the, uh, the agenda of this morning. Uh, we're going to have a couple of new announcements on our Fujifilm inkjet technologies. Um, just a little recap on our LED UV inkjet press that we launched on the 1st of March. We're going to talk a little bit about our 5D printing strategy, which um, we released a press release last week. Um, so we'll cover that, and I'm sure some of you may have some questions on that. And then finally, we're going to round out with a, uh, a couple of announcements about our XMF solutions and, uh, and a new process display. So uh, some new things here. Hopefully, you'll find it very interesting. So I'm going to, uh, as we're short on time, I'm going to pass over immediately to uh, Bailey Smith, who's Senior Director of Business Development at Fujifilm Dynamics. Good morning. Fujifilm is pleased to announce Fujifilm Inkjet Technology. This new name and graphic denotes the reinvigorated focus at Fujifilm to let the world know about our technology portfolio targeted to meet some of the toughest challenges in the inkjet space. Sometimes the whole really is greater than the sum of its parts. We at Fujifilm firmly believe and have shown that the combination of multiple technologies from the same source can create very powerful solutions to meet the true needs of the marketplace. The JetPress 720S is one such example. Fujifilm is displaying some of this technology in the Fujifilm Inkjet Technology Zone at the Fujifilm booth in Hall 8B. For this press conference, I'll give a quick snapshot of some of the key items to look for. Fujifilm currently has inkjet offerings in the commercial and sign and display markets, and has for many years. So inkjet's not new to us. But as we look forward towards the future potential markets for inkjet, we see an even greater need and therefore greater opportunity for Fujifilm to promote the full advantage of our technologies. Clearly, the industrial spaces such as decor, textile, and ceramic tile printing have begun their migration to inkjet, and Fujifilm is a strong participant. In packaging, especially outside of label, the market is in its very early stages. We at Fujifilm are focused on addressing the spaces with our technology, as we'll discuss today. Flexible is an important segment in the packaging space, and Fujifilm is dedicating significant uh, development to this area. We're excited to show a technology preview of a new aqueous inkjet ink for flexible packaging. We have a unique preconditioner technology which works together with a new pigmented aqueous ink to create vibrant colors on flexible film substrates. The image quality expectation in flexible packaging is very high. The combination of technologies Fujifilm has put together has created some very impressive samples which are being shown in the Fujifilm Inkjet Technology Zone. Please come by and take a look. In another technology preview, We've used our proprietary dispersive capability to combine metallic particles with new aqueous ink to create interesting and unique reflective images. These printed effects can be combined with process colors to create a vibrant metallic effect on different substrates. Today, metallic effects are normally printed using an analog process. This new innovation from Fujifilm promotes the possibility of a fully digital solution to printing metallic effects. Please come by to the Fujifilm Inkjet Technology Zone to see the samples. I've mentioned a couple of new fluids designed to meet some of the upcoming challenges of the industrial and packaging markets. Some of the key requirements of these applications include image quality, productivity, uptime, and durability. These are the key tenets of the Fujifilm Inkjet Technology Portfolio, which are exemplified by Fujifilm Dynamics printhead families. For high-resolution, high-speed, single-pass printing, we have the Samba G3L. It is constructed using full silicon MEMS architecture with Fujifilm proprietary sputtered PZT actuation. 
This combination allows for an inherently robust material set for the wetted parts, providing a wide ink latitude, an extremely long lifetime jetting actuation with no wear out mechanism. In the Fujifilm Inkjet Technology Zone, we're showing a demonstration of Samba technology. We're showing a representative packaging image running at 300 meters per minute. We're taking high-speed photographs of the imaging at different speeds to show how stable the response of the Samba head would be in such an application. One of the key advantages of Samba that we're demonstrating is the ability to provide full coverage imaging at high speed. Please come by to see it. I've talked about some of the various technologies we're showcasing here at Drupa. We believe each technology, standing individually, can provide a critical piece of the puzzle in many applications. For some applications, though, the combination of Fujifilm technologies and capabilities is greater than the sum of the parts. For these instances, Fujifilm is able to provide partners access to the complete set of technologies available from Fujifilm through one face to the customer. This will give potential partners a guided tool to the various technologies which can be integrated to solve particular application challenges. Fujifilm Inkjet technology will help advance the spread of Inkjet into new market spaces by providing its partners with a complete understanding of the power behind the combination of Fujifilm Inkjet technology. We've introduced our LED UV inkjet press at the March 1st Drupal press conference, and we've received many positive responses on this product. This machine is now introduced already in Japan and will be introduced in Europe and the Americas in the future. Today, we've received many positive comments from our key customer in Japan, which we would like to share in this video. あの、時代背景は多様化。つまり多種少量という時代ですね。食品でもね、ナショナルブランドのものであっても地域限定、期間限定という商品多いんですよ。当然ロットはね、少なくなります。そういう中でご発注先が一番その現状に満足できない。それ
Now move on to uh, uh, an announcement we made last week about our 5D printing solution strategy. So I'm going to introduce Taco Ito, who's Director and Corporate v Vice President of Fujifilm Global Graphic Systems and General Manager of the Technical <coughs> Management Headquarters. Good morning, everyone. I'm Atako Ito. I would like to use the next few minutes to explain Fujifilm's future vision for the digital commercial printing market, which we have called our 5D printing solution. As you know, the printing industry has been challenged by digital technologies for many years, and many printers are caught in spiral of shrinking demand and declining profit. In light of this situation, Fujifilm proposed to change the game by revolutionizing the print manufacturing process and bringing ultimate digital print quality, opening a way toward Industry 4.0 in the printing industry. Let me give you an overview of our new 5D printing solution. In addition to the three evolutionary printing dimensions, offset, digital, and 3D, Fujifilm's 5D printing solution will create two new paradigms in the printing industry using Fujifilm's true offset digital print quality and in partnership with the EPAC technologies, game-changing print automation. As shown in this slide, we define automation as a fourth dimension, and unmatched quality is the fifth dimension. This 5D solution will provide near infinite flexibility and unmatched value, helping to create greater profitability and market expansion. For example, in the future, with our new solution, printer will not need to consider limitation of the run length or compromise on quality in digital printing production. We believe this 5D printing solution will completely change the game in this industry. To begin with, I'm pleased to announce Fujifilm's partnership with EPAC technology as a core element of our 5D printing solution. Fujifilm has a vision to create a totally new automated print production system, the Fujifilm Smart Factory. EPAC's Don Linear E2 solution is ideally suited to this concept and EPAC is an ideal partner to work with for us to achieve this goal. Fujifilm and EPAC have already been working together for a couple of years and in 2016 established initial production system in the US, Europe and Latin America that incorporates jet press and EPAC E2 technologies. As an introduction of the EPAC technologies, let me play a short video and I will explain the feature of EPAC system. The Fujifilm Smart Factory is based on an EPAC revolutionary digital printing solution, E2 powered by the world's fastest industrial robot and unique algorithms. E2 self-manufactures printed goods from start to finish with no human intervention. By combining EPAC's nonlinear E2 solution with the best printing technologies from Fujifilms and the best binary equipment, a fully automated multi-dimensional production system can be created that can produce any print quantity with no bottlenecks. 
The Fujifilm's smart factory uses EPAX material flow software to route each component of job, a job to stations it needs to go to, creating unlimited flexibility and optimizes production decision based on ever-changing factors. It actually learned a way to improve productivity and reduce cost. It literally gets smarter every day. With E2, Fujifilm is making the dream of Industry 4.0 and Print 4.0 a reality. The other dimension of this 5D printing solution is Fujifilm's ability to bring true offset quality to data printing. This quality was seen for the first time with the introduction of the JetPress 720S and with over 70 customers around the world benefiting from this quality, market demand and <coughs> this quality is now accelerating. Here at Drupa, Fujifilm Inkjet technology is being introduced to the packaging industry with the first showing of the Heidelberg Bell's Prime Fire 106 digital press. And a number of other reading digital printing vendors are also choosing Samba Print Head to power their presses. To get an idea of the amazing quality that Fujifilm Inkjet technology will bring to every sector of the print industry, please check out the print sample of JetPress 720S on our stand. With our 5D printing solution, we now plan to expand this unmatched digital print quality to other key market and applications. Today, Fujifilm is free to announce that true offset digital print quality using Fujifilm's inkjet technologies will be introduced to roll to roll press in winter 2017. This introduction is set to change the scope of digital web printing. In summary, Fujifilm's 5D printing solution is the ultimate solution for the printing world, game-changing automation combined with the unmatched print quality will be the best setter in near future. And our combined vision is to apply this unique technology to all type of production sites. <coughs> The fourth dimension of totally automated production combined with the fifth dimension of Fujifilm Inc. technology will totally change the market. Together, we look forward to changing the way that commercial print is produced and look forward to pioneering new technologies for the benefit of all our customers. Okay, thank you, Ito-san. So, uh, a really exciting development, 5D printing. Um, so, we'll, we'll field some questions at the, answer, at the end of this session, uh, and obviously we'll welcome you to the Fujifilm stand. But um, Before we finish, uh, don't assume that our traditional portfolio of offset products um, is being left behind. Uh, so, I'm now going to just talk for a couple of minutes on, on um, uh, some exciting announcements from our XMF portfolio uh, and, and processors plates. Uh, many, will, many of you will know XMF, it was introduced back in 2005-2006. Um, we introduced it at that time uh, to coincide with the Adobe PDF printing, print engine. It still remains the only workflow out there that, was, that is built, built entirely on the PDF print engine. So we're excited to announce today um, a new module to that workflow called XMF Controller. 
And this, this module is all about streamlining job entry uh, to automate and make production more efficient. In that particular part of the market, uh, efficiency and automation is, is absolutely key. So what this, is, what, what this allows uh, print service providers to do is the customer service um, team or person can, can enter the job data and that can be fed right through to production. Um, it's based on a template uh, type system of, of, of entry. Very clean and simple uh, interface. Integrates with XMF Remote so it can also include uh, the job approval uh, process. Um, and it also has an open interface to MIS systems. So essentially, customer service can feed production directly without necessarily involving prepress, freeing up prepress people to do uh, other, uh, other more important tasks. Um, and obviously, the job data can be fed directly from an MIS system. So uh, we're excited about this particular module. It's going to help us automate the process, um, help print service providers become more efficient. The second uh, key announcement here is a new um, portfolio name for our uh, workflow products called XMF Ensemble. We've, we've had XMF as our core, core workflow for quite a number of years, and we've partnered with a number of companies um, in that time uh, where, we, where we have specific applications that the XMF core workflow doesn't cover, particularly in my format, for example, Colorgate and Caldera. Uh, we're now working with um, selected, carefully selected partners to produce a best-in-class portfolio. And we're doing this because um, in our wide format markets and increasingly in the packaging market, um, we need to uh, uh, add, add other solutions to our portfolio. And we're working on integrating these solutions to make more application-specific workflows. So again, come to the stand and, and understand a little bit more of that, about that on the stand. Finally, um, just make, not like to make a, 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 an announcement about a new processors plate uh, as part of our superior family. Um, the superior family is all about offset, making offset printing more profitable. Um, this continues our development of, of, of plates. It's an addition to our Protein 3 plate. For those that know that plate, it's the leading plate on the market. This particular um, plate, Superior ZD, has a better run length. And it's been developed for UV inks, particularly uh, LED UV, uh, and to cater for some of the, uh, uh, the presses that are coming onto the market. So we've got some information on the stand about this, and it's also being demonstrated um, in Hall 16, uh, stand D D24 on the RMDT booth. Our rollout plan for this is um, summer 2016. Okay. So we've run through quite a lot today uh, um, in the space of 25 minutes. Uh, that concludes our formal presentation. Um, I'd like to open it up now for, for questions. So uh, is there a microphone there? Yes, uh, Henry Friedman of Technology Watch. What does Fuji define as high speed? I saw in your presentation you said high speed inkjet. What's your definition of high speed velocity? What we're talking about in that particular uh, slide is we're talking 300 meters per minute. Um, the, what we're really presenting is the, the idea that you can take the technology that we have and be able to run it at higher than sort of standard inkjet. Um, standard inkjet speeds. So um, it's really a, a high coverage, high, um, high image quality application that we're... Do you have a numerical speed? Speed well, is I, measured in, in... What's high speed, what's low speed, what's medium speed? Right. 300 meters per minute is what we're showcasing in the, in the inkjet technology zone. Okay. Right. How do you compare the... Um, Superior, the new plate with the uh, Codex Sonora, because process list uh, now is becoming a big thing. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. You asking the uh, comparison with the? Uh, yes, Sonora? please. The Paul, come here. I recognize the uh, the Codex technology for in 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 uh, in, uh, in the processors uh, area, uh, 
and then the uh, some uh, press performance is equivalent, uh, and then uh, especially for the uh, UV ink uh, capability and long run uh, web uh, personality. Yeah. And then we are in, under the investigation uh, and evaluation uh, comparison uh, we will show. Uh, and then I'm sure the operate, uh, I'm proud to say, uh, operate has a the wide ink, wide balance, and a wider uh, press performance area. So, um, is that, is that answer to you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Behind you. Okay. Hi, Dave Swain, what they think. Um, the metallic ink that you just uh, talked about, um, what kind of metals you're looking at, what kind of colors you're looking at, and, and, and what types, more importantly, what types of substrates do you see that being practical on in its uh, current and future state? Okay, so currently, so aqueous ink, uh, currently it is based on aqueous ink, so we may uh, select the several materials, but uh, uh, we also have the uh, undercoating technology. We are uh, considering what kind of sublet can be uh, possible to use in metallic ink, but still it's still uh, developing stage. Still early. Yeah. Question about your uh, application of the Samba printing head uh, in your uh, slide. The Lambda press was not mentioned, but it, uh, up to my knowledge and other people's knowledge, it's the Samba head doing the inkjet print in the Lambda machine. So why is it not in your slide? The the two publicly available uh, information that we're sharing with the Samba head are the Heidelberg Prime Fire and obviously the Jet Press 720. And why is um, the other not publicly available? Well, we have a lot of a lot of uh, OEMs who are using the Samba head right now, and you'll see those throughout the show. Um, we're allowing those OEMs to to make the announcements that they want to make, and mm -hmm. we're, we're not doing that. That's, so. An other question is about your um, Ink deposition and drying, especially on the flexible material for packaging. So, what uh, your uh, trial customer that was a Japanese customer uh, uh, was trying now the flexible printing, uh, but it's a water-based ink. And how will water-based ink uh, be uh, drying on the flexible material? So, what is the trick? Can you explain that? Film. So we, we need uh, some ab absor uh, absorption layer. So uh, that absorption layer I will be uh, put before inkjet. So we put to the pre coating or something. So you had a primer. Yeah, like a, a primer, yes. A conditioner. Or yeah. So I don't know how to go primer, pre conditioner, or uh, pre coating, or so. so some, yeah. Drying. How is drying then happening? You can't tell me that. It depends on the whole of the mind of the but uh, the whole uh, uh, IR or uh, ETAR or such kind of so, or dry system is necessary. Is that what I have the flexible material to make the shot real. Yeah, that is the reason for speed is that uh, we, we can't expect to the higher speed at the moment. Gareth, <laughs> come on. On the E2 demonstration, the video, um, there was made mention of finishing. Um, Clearly, you need to work with some finishing partners to do that. Can you explain a little bit more about that strategy and whether you're able to name any of those partners at this time? Okay, I'll, I'll maybe invite Sasha um, from uh, EPAC to answer that question. Sure. Uh, right now, uh, we work with uh, Hunkler, Vila Martini, and Horizon are, are the biggest finishing company who 
for primary finishing companies. Are you in discussion with others? Uh, yes, and we, we work with others. Some of them, uh, in a similar way, are publicly announced. Other ones uh, are on a confidential basis. Okay. Um, two very quick questions. One quick one for our uh, plate gentleman here. Um, the processless plate, the UZD. Will this be available in B1 format? Because currently in our market, Australia, Pro T3 has only been available for the B2 format. B2 size plate. So you will have B1 size plate for ZD? Yes. Thank you. Uh, the other question, that, that's it, that's all I need to The other question relates to ink. Um, all of the inkjet companies with wonderful hardware technology uh, know that the um, the gold rush is ink. Now, obviously, Fujifilm Speciality Ink Systems for UV and your aqueous uh, factory, and I think it's in America, um, are very big. Uh, and producing a lot of ink for Fujifilm and perhaps other companies as well. So my question is, where is Fujifilm positioned in the world inkjet ink market? Are you market leader already by buying Zerical and so on, or are you number two or number three? Uh, where would you, in terms of gallons of ink, where would you put yourself? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a lot of combination for the uh, so UV ink and uh, uh, for the uh, inkjet. And uh, uh, we think also that we are the one of the leading company for that. And uh, also the uh, so the water-based ink. Then uh, uh, we actually technically they are very advanced. For example, did, uh, we developed a quite unique ink for the Jet Press 720S, and then uh, the achieved the unmatched uh, quality. Then uh, it is uh, so uh, probably comparable or sometimes exceed beyond the so did, uh, process printing. Then uh, that's the uh, therefore the technically then, uh, so the uh, what we are leading then uh, aqueous ink. Um, uh, in, Market too, we think. Thank you. Okay, maybe one more. Uh, it was suggested in uh, February in Heidelberg by one of the uh, senior uh, Fuji executives that Fuji would also be selling a machine like the Prime Fire 106, and, uh, and the brand name would be announced around Drupa time. So is there any progress report on what Fuji plans to do in that format? Okay. And uh, so oh, we, of course, uh, you know, and uh, discussing with uh, so the Heidelberg, and uh, so did uh, we also did uh, deal with uh, so the prime players. But uh, so the uh, no detail is decided yet. Therefore, did uh, even the brand name. Fuji will be selling a similar machine. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, I, I don't know whether we. Uh, do you, uh, I, I had the same. Oh, okay. okay. So maybe um, maybe we should conclude that there because we're, we're bang on 12 o'clock. Uh, if you have any more questions, we invite you to the stand. Please come and see us. I know a lot of you are coming, but we invite everybody. To... Yeah. Um, oh, mic's gone. Uh, we have two impact robots on the stand, so come on and have a look at that. Uh, so thank you very much for attending. Thanks for your time. Um, and we'll see you uh, shortly at the stand. Thank you.